It's like assigned to their computer. Um, yeah, but you can, you can get by city, by country, you can get all the sort of that. I was just wondering if you could use that as a base for contacting new members in a specific area because there's a lot of people in a particular area. Yeah, I mean, that's not something that we're like obsessed with, but yeah. we are paying attention to it from time to time. You know, where, where are these people coming from? Yeah. Totally. Uh, and, and then the other interesting thing is looking at um, the, the types of things that um, generate like huge spikes in traffic. So when there's videos, when, when, um, when the CBC National when, video was put up. That's right. People yeah. like that. I can't remember which campaign was that. Living wage? What, or, yeah. yeah, living okay. wages, February, March this year. K phone banking. Really video of traffic. Phone banking. So we put that video up <laughs> on our website. A bunch of people shared it. Um, like share that video on Facebook and Twitter and whatever. They emailed it out to their friends and family and stuff. And uh, the, there was a, a huge, huge spike in you know three or four times that day what it, what it normally is. Um, so videos are good. And the more that you guys can have a video camera, you know, at actions or uh, at presentations that are happening, the better because people respond to that and they're um, excited to share a lot of the time. So. Uh, I mentioned earlier that there are changes happening to how we communicate about the work we're doing. Um, what has been missing is information straight from members and organizers about, you know, exactly who Acorn is and what our uh, what our priorities are and um, what's coming up next. You know, as I said, the the website has been mostly press hits, and the press. You know, we're always grateful when they show up, but a lot of the times they do a bad job, right? That's they, true. You know, they'll so talk about it more in the tenants group, and we're not a tenants group, right? It's a community organization that is a multi-issue organization. So, um, you know, they, uh, they don't understand, a lot of reporters don't understand membership. They don't understand that it's a member-based organization. They don't understand that, uh, you know, maybe the action happening in Surrey is part of a provincial campaign. So, you know, it, leaders there do have a great job explaining it, but Sometimes journalists don't get it through their, their head, you know, especially if this is the first time they're covering us or whatever. So um, we can do what they're not doing. We can start talking about all of our priorities. We can start talking about what ACORN actually is, what's coming up next. And we can do it a bunch of different ways. As I said, video, video, video is really good. Uh, we can take pictures. We can write little articles, you know. We've got lots of options. So um, the way that we're, we're changing this is that um, Go ahead. is that um, every month. Hi everyone. Uh, Hello. 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 I'm so late. No, no, that's no, okay. No, no. Have a seat. Have a seat. Thank um, you. So what we're changing is that um, we're being more more proactive than we've been in the past. But you know, every month there's a phone call that organizers get. You know, what's going on in your office? What's coming up? What are, the, what are the priorities? We want to try and make sure that we're focusing on that with the things we put on our website, the things we put on Facebook, the things we put on Twitter, the things we put in the email newsletter. Um, all of the communications we have with donors, the mailings, the calls, whatever. Um, we're not going to stop doing some of the stuff that, all, all of the stuff that we were doing, right? We're going to keep on putting up all the press coverage of our work. We're just going to add to that. Uh, 
um, if you if you're talking to people, I know that you know everybody's used to getting like all the people at a meeting to sign a sign-in sheet. You're used to taking positions out when you go door knocking, and you're used to you know having those at actions and stuff. Um, that's good, and keep doing that, and try and make sure that the, the staff that you're working with get that information into the database. Also, when you're talking to people, you know, maybe it's in the same kind of the same situations, um, or maybe it's in more casual situations, or maybe it's just like as you're sending out an email, let people know they can sign online and they can if they can get it on our list, and we can start uh, talking to them on a regular basis about all of this stuff. Um, when so beyond that, beyond just getting names on a list, um, asking other leaders, new leaders, all leaders, uh, to send out emails to their to their friends and contacts and coworkers and whatever about about Acorn with links to our website. Um, that's important. That that's something that should happen in chapter meetings more. You know, it often does happen, but it, like, it should be a regular thing. Um, if you use Facebook, share links to acorncanada.org as much as you think to, as much as possible. If you're on Twitter, uh, name Acorn Canada, you know, that, that way, like you, you use the Acorn Canada's handle so that people can find us, so that they can start following Acorn Canada on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're not on Facebook or Twitter, you should check it out. It's interesting, and not just because Acorn. There's other stuff there too, you know, on Facebook. With Beck. With Beck, sure. With Beck, there's other stuff. We're not sure. <laughs> well, there is other stuff. <laughs> um, oh well, Dave, sure. <laughs> and if you're and if you're really good at it, you should talk to other Acorn members in your chapter, in your city, about how it works. You know, help people set up an email account if they don't have one, help people set up a Facebook account if they don't have one, you know, and then tell them all this stuff I just told you that they should, you know, once it's up and running, they should let their, their friends and contacts know what they work. And that... Oh, don't run away. It's not yeah. going nowhere. <laughs> Workshops for members. Yeah. Online organizing. When can we do one of those? On Skype? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I mean, I can oh, answer this, which James can do. Are you talking, like, when can, you when can we organize a workshop a of, for online organizing? Yeah. How to use the tools? And um, yeah, so who here would like to learn more about this stuff? Because I know this is all quick. Okay, cool. So, I mean, if you live close to the Toronto office, you know, we can organize something in the office mm -hmm. that you can come down and James will like spend like an hour showing you everything. Yeah. Um, if you don't live in Toronto, we could do webinars and stuff like yeah. um, phoning webinars, James could set up a webinar and like run a training workshop for you guys. We can totally do that. That's a good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we won't pick a date right now, but that is something that if you ask me about later on, we can definitely set up. Does everybody have to clarify that that's going to happen? Does everybody have James's email? No. No. Well, do you have cards? Yeah, I can return One thing, like if if we're doing this, like at at my place, I have two computers, right? To get like a few people that are interested in this, like in BC, all together at my place, I could hook up. One of my computers breaks my TV, um, right? Oh wow! You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like have have a couple people there with a couple laptops around. Yeah. Make it easier to them. That way, so like a computer a computer mm -hmm. party. Yeah, people are all together. <laughs> make it easier. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. You just Cyber party. You just Skype for us. Big face on my big screen yeah. TV. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we're doing that. Day. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. Get my face out of it. I'll have my little camera there videoing. <laughs> um, James, I, I just throw this in because Free mentioned, and I've heard this, it's Skype. Yeah. Skype. And it was a wonderful, wonderful thing to be able to watch people give their international reports through Skype this year. Yeah. So is that a media that we should be using as well when we do this workshop? Or that's basically, some, that's basically what we get from the outside world. 
with. It's probably something you can cover in the workshop on how to use it. I mean, you can do Skype conferences with you know quite a number of people online. So yeah. it could be a way to have national committee meetings. So you know, in terms of internal governance issues, it could be very important and free. Um, yeah. Whether or not it's as effective for online campaigning, I'm not so sure. No, it's it's it's, it's free. That's that's one of the great things about Skype that it lets you communicate face to face with somebody. Um, for this workshop, we do what you was talking about a webinar would be you know you um, go online and then you can sort of see what I'm doing on my computer. So we might just show people instead of looking at each other's faces. You know, we just show people. The, you know, on, 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 their, on their screens, wherever they are in Canada, how to use all these tools that we're talking about. So what you would need to set that up, though, is an internet connection and a phone line. No, but we could no we're not talking Skype or copy um, webinar. So that you're on the phone with James, and James is like, okay, I'm doing this now, watch what I'm doing. And then you can see what he's doing. So that's for the workshop, and even our you know, national committee meetings that we do, we could also add Skype so we can actually see each other too. Well, you can probably on that workshop show people how to sign up for Skype. I mean, it's very, very easy to yeah. do so if you're not on. And yeah. yeah, so. Like you were talking about maybe a phone conference. Phone conference, we have, we have two or three, right? Yeah. We've had over the years. Yeah, so sure. Be we better can on add Skype. On Skype so we'll, it'll look really more real. And, you know, okay, just. Excuse me for one second. Teddy, if you just want to throw the sandwiches on the couch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Gently. <laughs> um, I so, yeah, so I mean, should we aim to do something like an online webinar nationally with James in the next like six weeks to two months? James will set a date. Is like a Saturday good for people? Oh, yeah, as long as there's enough notice. And right? you just need lots of notice, yeah. Well, yeah, notice and reminders. Any help there? No, I got it, I got it. See, I'm a master. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, so we have a couple more minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, does it make sense? Did you guys try to pick a date right now? Um, Ish? A potential date that we'll finalize in the next couple weeks, the next two months. Not on a long weekend. Saturdays are good though. Yeah, whatever. Yes. Um, July 14th. Not going to be around. I'm not Sorry, here. Jalise. Jalise. Uh, yes, sir. I'm just going to add something. Is it possible we can do it like in the chapters? Because we are interested, but I'm sure there's other, you know. Um, members or who would like to get into it, mm -hmm. who would like to learn about it too. Is it possible we can do it? Is that organized to do it on the satellite, like chapter by chapters at the same day? Oh, so everybody, can, everybody like, can learn about it or we can do it just in individual chapters, I don't know. Jill's great at all this stuff. I'm sure Jill could like work with chapters. I, you know, I don't want to yeah. promise you that she's going to do, she's got time for this or that, you know, but um, I think you should, you should talk to her about it because she is really good at a lot of this stuff. Okay, probably not have time for that, but um, have a, like a, a chapter meeting, mm -hmm. uh, and then we can do half meeting, and then half of the meeting would be. Yes, yeah. I mean we can. I mean, so because you need internet and a phone to do a webinar, people might want to come into the Ottawa office. But why don't we do this? We'll say we'll set one on the fourteenth. And not, not gonna be anywhere near it's not going to work for Dave, but we'll do another one for Dave at some point. So uh, It's not going to work for me too because I will be out of the country from the 4th to the 25th. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a couple Saturdays and then you guys can like pick them. And James can do more than one of these too. The I mean, we should do more well, than that's, yeah. yeah, well that's the key with this. It, yeah. It's free. Yeah. If you have the time to do it, right? Yeah. And people can always contact you with questions if they come up later, right? Because it is free, 